Hi and welcome to another tutorial of Made by Sheem, the Auntie Louise cow. I'm going to tell you the story about this cow. I made this cow about a couple of months ago and for some reason then I put it in a car. We went to visit Auntie Louise and she asked me if I could make her something to keep her neck and shoulders warm. And she explained something that she liked to have. And then I realized all of a sudden that I made something like that. And then I put it in the car. So I went to the car, got it out, showed it to her, and she loved it. So that's this little story about Auntie Louise's cow. Okay, I'm going to tell you how I made this one um, and eventually it was made for a plus size but if you like to make it smaller I'm gonna explain you later on how to do that as well I don't like if something is really tied around my neck and my neck is really short but I do have a colleague and she doesn't have a plus size and she has a long neck and she loved it as well. It fits her really well. Um, she, she likes the space around her neck so it's not too tight. So it means that it's what you prefer. You will have to find it out yourself what you prefer. All right. You can make this in a child size or an adult size, a plus size, just whatever you like. But if you make it the beginning, you make the beginning smaller than I did, but you need the width on your shoulders, you need to decrease, or, no, you need to increase more. Sorry, you need to increase more later on. But I'm going to show you how it works. So don't worry, we'll just get started. And uh, I'm going to tell you during the video what we're going to do. All right? You can also decide not to make a cow, but make a poncho out of it. Or um, make it longer and add some sleeves. So you can make a lovely sweater. It's just all up to your own imagination and whatever you like. But whenever you decide to change anything, please, please show me. I would love to see all the pictures and everything that you've done to it. So I do have a Facebook group. Please come and visit me there. And um Show me the pictures. Anyway, I'm going to use this 300 grams ball of yarn, which is about 10.5 ounces. I'm not going to use all of it. I'm going to use about 205 grams, which is about 7.2 ounces. Be sure to buy enough so you have enough. Your size is going to be different, or your uh, the thickness of your yarn is different, you know, just be sure you have enough. Um, I also used a 5mm crochet hook, a 5.5mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle with a large eye, and a measuring tape. And it can be handy to use some stitch markers. You're going to start with a 5mm crochet hook and a slip knot on your hook. Start off with a chain 3. Yarn over and go to the first chain
get the yarn, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, and pull through two loops. Now you have two double crochet. See? One, two. Yarn over. Now remember that you just made a chain one, right? So underneath these two little loops of the chain one, you have to put your crochet hook. Yarn over. Pull through, yarn over, pull through one. That's the basics where we um, gonna put our next double crochet in. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Yarn over. Now go back to the chain one we just made. See? There. Be sure you have two loops on the hook. Just like that. Yarn over. Pull through these loops. Yarn over. Pull through one loop. Sorry. Cat's hair. <laughs> yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over. And pull through two. Let's do that again. Yarn over. Go through the chain one you just made. There you go. Underneath the two loops. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through one loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Now you have one, two, three, four, five double crochet. Okay. For my cow, I made eighty eight double crochet. If you want to make it in a different size, be sure you have a multiple of four. So if you make a child size, multiple of four. I made 88 chainless double crochet foundation row. I'm going to give you the measurements. Let me have a look. Sixty eight centimeters, which is twenty six point seven inches. It sounds like a lot, but when you will be wearing it later on, the shape will be something like this. And I really did need these man this many um, uh, centimeters or for you inches. So just adjust it to the size that you like to have. Be sure it fits around your head uh, in the multiple of four and that it is comfy around your neck. When you found it really difficult to make the chain this double crochet foundation row, then just make a chain in multiples of four 
and just add um, um, the string together or the chain together with a slip stitch. Be sure that you don't twist it. And then make a row with double crochet. That's just it. Um, for this one, I'm gonna close it with a slip stitch on top of the chain three at the beginning of the row. The yarn end that I have left, I will use that later on to sew the two pieces together. I'm gonna start off now with a front post double crochet and a back post double crochet stitch. Chain one, yarn over, go back to the side of your double crochet, <coughs> excuse me, go behind it and come back at the other side. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two stitches, yarn over, and pull through two stitches. This is my first front post double crochet. Now we will be making a back post double crochet. Yarn over, go to the side of the post of the double crochet of the previous round, go in front of the post, and on the side you go to the back. Yarn over, pull your hook back through the holes on the side, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And that's how you make a back post double crochet. Okay, let's do that again. Yarn over. Go to the, from the front, behind the post, to the side. It should look like that. Yarn over. Pull through. Yarn over. Pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Now you've made another front post double crochet. We're going to make another back post double crochet. Yarn over, go to the from the back in front of the post, like that, and on the side. So, yarn over here, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Yarn over, on the side, the bow should be on your hook like this, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, and pull through two loops. Back post double crochet. Yarn over from the back in front of the post to the back. So the post of the double crochet is on the back side of your crochet hook. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. So 
So now you've made front post double crochet, back post double crochet, front post double crochet, back post double crochet. And this is what you continue to do till you are at the beginning of the round again. Because you're working in rounds, right? Alright, I almost made it to the end of this round. I have two stitches left. One front post double crochet and one back post double crochet. So, I'm going to end the round with a slip stitch on top of the first front post double crochet there you go chain one and repeat the round front post double crochet back post double crochet front post double crochet back post double crochet And this is what I'm gonna repeat for the next rows. I, if I remember correctly, I did this for about 20 rows. So this is my second row. Let me count in the original. Four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 8, 9, 20. 20 rows. Exactly 20 rows. So the first chainless double crochet foundation row, you don't count that one. Well, it's a row, but you don't count it. So in total, you have 21 rounds if you include that first round. Alright? So I'm going to do that and. As soon as I've done the 20 rows, I'll meet you. Don't forget to close every round with a slip stitch on top of the front post double crochet and chain one and then start off with a front post double crochet. Right? Please don't forget that the numbers of the rows that I gave you are for an adult size. If you make the child size, then you should crochet less rounds than the 21 or the 20 rows. Unfortunately, I haven't made a child size myself, so I cannot give you the exact numbers. Um, sorry, but you will have to figure that out yourself. All right? Alright, I'm almost at the end of my 20th round. Actually, it's round 21 if you count the first chainless double crochet foundation row as well. But how do I know when I've reached the 20 rounds? Well, the first one over here was the first chainless double crochet foundation row. And then for the next one, you see the rib, right? This one. And behind that, there's a stitch. That's number, row number one. Number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 
after the rib, you have one more row. That's number 20. Right? So that's how you count the rows when you make the rib stitch. I'm going to do another round in this, in the same stitch, but I need to turn my work inside out. And I'm going to show you why. I'm going to zoom out. Later on, I'm going to fold this cowl over like this, right? So whenever I have the right side facing me before I turn it inside out, the wrong side of the cowl will be on the outside. Whenever I turn the inside out, inside out now, and I fold it over, I have the right side facing me whenever I wear the cow. Right? So I am going to do another row now in the same stitch. And I'm going to use one or a half size bigger hook, which is the eye hook. You don't have to do this. But I did, so that's why I'm going to show it to you. Chain one. And you're going to do ex exactly the same. Front post, double crochet. Back post, double crochet. Front post, double crochet. Back post, double crochet. And again, this is what you do till, till you are at the end of this round. And then I'm going to show you again what I did for the next round. And the last stitch, a um, back post double crochet. Close the round with a slip stitch. Chain one. And in this round, we will be increasing. One front post double crochet in the first stitch. And another front post double crochet around the same stitch so now we will have two front posts double crochet around the same stitch one back post double crochet and another back post double crochet around the same stitch Around the next front post double crochet, two front post double crochet, and around the next back post double crochet, two back post double crochet. So in this round, we are increasing every stitch. Sometimes it just looks like you don't have enough space to make just two stitches in the same stitch, around the same stitch. When you find it difficult, try to fold your work like this and see if you can pull your stitch through easier, in the easier way. Some people find that um, more comfy.
so you can just hold your um, stitch like this right And the very last stitch of this round and I'm gonna close this round with a slip stitch on top of the first front post double crochet of this round now let's have a look at our cow we have made increases in the last round and now it looks really wavy this is perfectly normal. Look, okay, I'm gonna zoom out to show you what I mean. This part is a part that needs to fit around our shoulders. And because of the increase, it sort of stands up. See? Now, when you make your cow smaller, but you do have do need um, the width around your shoulder, you need to increase more. I am not going to increase for the next two rounds, but if you need to increase more. You need to increase not in this round we're gonna do, but in the round after that. Um, as I said before, the beige one, the brown one, um, I had a couple of friends that tried it on, and people with a size S till the 3XL did fit the cow so it's basically a one size fits all but it just depends on what you like if you don't like it to be loose around your neck then you will have to make another size and that that's when you start to make more increases it'll make more senses in um, the next couple of rounds so by then we will have to see what you have to do. Okay. Next round. Zoom in again. Okay. 
This round is pretty easy. In every stitch from the previous round, you make one stitch. So when you see a, in the previous round a front post double crochet, you have to do a front post double crochet. If you see a back post double crochet, you'll make a back post double crochet. Back post double crochet, another back post double crochet, a front post double crochet, another front post double crochet, back post double crochet, another back post double crochet, and so on. And this is the pattern repeat for this round. So one front post double crochet in a front post double crochet and when you see a back post double crochet you just crochet a back post double crochet this is what you do for two rounds so for this round and the round after this round so for these two rounds no increases And a slip stitch in the last stitch. This will be an increase round. Chain one. Oh, wait. I'm gonna show you first what it looks like right now. Can you see that part where the shoulders should be? Right? On the side, here. This part should be on your shoulder. But I want to make it a little longer. And that's why I'm going to do another increase round. If you don't want this part to be any wider, and just stop increasing. So when I stop increasing now, this will go down like that. But I want it to be any bigger, so I'll make another increase round. It's just up to you, right? A front post double crochet on top of the first front post double crochet. A front post double crochet on the second front post double crochet. And the increase, another front post double crochet on top of the second front post double crochet of the previous round. Back post double crochet. I'm not going to increase the back post double crochet part. I'm just increasing at the second front post double crochet. So in this round, I'll have three front post double crochet instead of two double crochet like we had in the previous round. So now we're not increasing. Front post double crochet. Yes, we are increasing in the second front post double crochet. And number two. But maybe the increase is not enough for you. What you can do is increasing the back post double crochet part as well. But like I mentioned before, this basically is a one size fits all. If you make it exactly the same like I did. 
Anyway, I'm going to continue this round and I'll see you again in the next round. Oh, whoops, I messed up. I forgot the increase. And the last stitch again, and close with a slip stitch. And this is what it looks like right now. See? It looks wider. The next round, and I'm gonna have a look um, what I did before. I think we need to do two more rounds. I'm gonna measure it all for you. Let's see. One or two. Hold on, please. No, two. Yeah, yeah, two. Six centimeters, which is approximately 2.4 inches. And what we have now is four centimeter which is approximately 1.8 inch I'm gonna zoom in again chain one and now we will have a look at our previous round and whenever we did in our previous round of front post double crochet, we will do a front post double crochet in this round. Whenever we did a back post double crochet in the previous round, we will be doing a back post double crochet in this round. So in this round, there will be no increases. And again, this is what you do for this, one, this round and next round. And this is what it looks like. So, this is what we do till the end of this round. And the next round is a repeat of this round. So, for two rows, this is what you do. And the very last stitch of this round. And close around with a slip stitch on top of the front post double crochet of the beginning of this round. And this is what it looks like at this very moment. The length of this cow will be just above the chest so if you like it to be longer then just add a couple of 
more rounds. You do need more yarn, but I find it very logical. So Okay, next round. Chain one. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in again. And then after I did it, I already did the chain one. The three stitches. We are going to crochet these three stitches together with front post, double crochet, together stitches. And this is how I do that. Four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. Now chain two, three, four, five. Yarn over, front post, double crochet, but do not finish it. And go to the next front post double crochet. Don't finish that one either and go to the next one. Now you have four loops on your hook, yard over, and pull through all four loops. Hmm. It looks like it's a bit tight. Okay, I'm gonna frog it and see. What happens if I make a chain of six instead of five? Now let's have another look. Okay, look, that looks much better. Okay, so instead of five chain stitches, I'm going to do six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over. Go to the front post you skip the back post double crochet go to the front post double crochet but do not finish it completely off four loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all four loops and chain six again five six Yarn over and three front post double crochet together. That was just too much. Number three, yarn over and pull through all four loops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Run over, and this is what you do for the complete round. Ah, I messed up again. <laughs> Two, three unfinished, front post double crochet, yarn over and pull through all four loops. Six, yarn over and make three. Unfinished front post double crochet. Four loops on the hook, run over and pull through all four loops.
And this is what you do till the end of the round. See you in a bit. Okay. Um, now I'm going back to my H hook, my 5mm crochet hook. Chain 3. No. Slip stitch. That's what you do first. Slip stitch. Chain 3. Double crochet into the ring or the chain space. Now we're going to make a pico chain three and slip stitch in the first chain of the chain three and double crochet and another double crochet. Three chain stitches, go to the first chain stitch and slip stitch in that one, two double crochet in the chain space, chain three and slip stitch in the first of the chain three. And two double crochet. And this is what it should look like. Eight double crochet with in between the three picots. Go to the next chain space and make a single crochet. Eight chains, double crochet, but don't finish a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. Now you have five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all five loops on the hook. Chain three. Yarn over and make a double crochet in that little eye, but do not finish it. So make another four unfinished double crochet. In that little eye. Now you have five loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all five loops and finish it off with a chain stitch. Slip stitch in this stitch. And slip stitch. I find it really difficult to explain, but hopefully you can um, you can see it very well what I'm doing. Chain four and a single crochet in the same chain space, and this is what it looks like. And this is the pattern for this round. So in the next chain space, we will be making two double crochet. A picot, so chain three, 
slip stitch in the first of the chain three, two double crochet, chain three for the pico, slip stitch in the first of the chain three, two double crochet. Chain three, slip stitch in the first of the chain three, and two double crochet. And a single crochet in the next chain space. Chain eight. Yarn over, and in the fourth chain from the hook, we'll make four unfinished double crochet. Three, four. Now you have five chains, five loops on your hook. Yarn over, and pull through all loops on the hook. One, two, three chains. You see that little eye here? Four unfinished double crochet. Five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. And chain one. Slip stitch in this stitch. Chain four and single crochet in the same chain space. And this is what it looks like. This will be the border of our cow or Auntie Louise cow. If you don't like this border, please feel free to add your own border. But I just love this border. I love it. You can make anything that you like. Okay. A oh well, two double crochet, chain three, slip stitch into the first chain stitch, and two double crochet, chain three, slip stitch into the first of the chain three. Two double crochet, chain three, and a pico, and two double crochet. Go to the next chain space and single crochet and this is what you do for the next chain spaces and when you're ready to do that just cut your yarn and weave in all your ends and you're ready And this is what a cow looks like. I also made a bow and it's a bro brooch. I do have a video for that, but it's just in Dutch. 
you can check it out or let me know if you want a video in English for the bow as well. Thank you so much for watching and did you really like this video then please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and leave a picture on my Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. You can also send me an email on madebyseam at outlook.com. Well, thank you so much guys and um, don't forget to enjoy. And I love you all. Bye.